YouTubers. Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. So up for rest restoring this week is uh, another copy of the number 42 Bedford Evening News Van. Um, this model I picked up because it was overall in pretty decent shape and it has a problem that is pretty common for this uh, this model and that is it's missing the signage banner on the top. Um, this was just a, a weak point, kind of a design flaw in this casting. Um, the top banner piece was cast as a separate part and it only attaches just with that little center post there. And this one, like many of these models, is broken. So I wanted to shoot a, a little bit quicker video just showing uh, cleanup and replacement of the top signage banner on this model. So the first thing that I did uh, to start out with the restoration work on this model, and I, I am calling this a restoration, um, not a preservation, even though we're not doing a complete strip and repaint. Um, I've got you know original beautiful decals on this model, and I would never ever even consider uh, stripping it down and redoing it. Um, but we are going to do the full restoration, um, which means restoring the the part that's broken that's missing on the top. Um, and so for, for that reason, I'm still calling this a restoration, even though it's a limited restoration. Um, but uh, step one was just to get this really cleaned up, um, to just, you know, a little soap and water, uh, gentle cleaning, got most of the dirt and crud off of it. And that kind of uh, revealed for me all these little nicks and scratches. Um, when I did a comparison on the paint colors, uh, this also was very similar to my first restoration, um, and that is that it's the straight yellow color. It's not the um, more orangey red yellow, um, and I, I do have a couple of those models in my con uh, collection, and at the end of this, um, I, I want to do a comparison that shows kind of the, the differences in all three of those, but um, after getting it cleaned up, the, the next step is just to touch up a few of these more, uh, more noticeable nicks and scratches. Um, and again, some of these are, are deep enough that uh, they're probably going to take more than one coat, um, especially, you know, ones like this a a top of the A-pillar up here. Um, I, I tend to find that doing maybe two or three thinner coats works a little bit better than piling it all on a first coat. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just kind of working my way around here. Um, and there's no hardened rules or anything in how to do this. Um, I, I usually just kind of go with my eye and uh, kind of work my way, starting at one point on, on the car and then kind of work around to the other, other side. Um, and you can see I'm putting on a very light, very, very thin coat in most of these areas. Um, again, when I finish this model, I really don't want it to look like it's been um, touched up or repainted. Um, the, the idea with this is to, you know, fix some of the, the big condition issues that are more noticeable um, and kind of restore it back to close to what it was when it came off the factory floor. Um, and in this case, since I've got nice original decals, I'm going to work with them. Um, I did notice on this model that my base is pretty loose and uh, that's actually a good thing because I'm going to need to remove this base in order to access the post that's on the inside. Um, now, if your uh, base is not loose and you still want to make this repair, um, you can do that. And when I kind of go through um, what all I did in order to remove that busted off post, um, I'll talk a little bit more about it. But um, I'm fortunate in that in, for this model in particular, my base is loose and I think I'm actually going to be able to remove the base uh, without drilling out the rivet on this one. 
Um, so we'll see when I get to that point uh, if I can take this apart or uh, if I get to work with it with the base on. But either way, I, I think um, the plan that I have for removing the top rivet on this uh, would, would work either way, um, whether I removed it or not. So to restore the uh, original sign band on the top, um, I did look for an original piece. I, I always like to try to work with original pieces first if I can find them, but this is pretty hard to find. Um, and the only original that I was able to find already had the post broken off of it. So this is a reproduction. Um, I believe I got this one from uh, Recover Toy. Uh, the material does seem to be a little bit softer than the original Zamac. Um, this one is bent a little bit. Um, the casting's not terribly clean. Uh, it doesn't have nice edges, so I'm adjusting them with an emery board uh, just to get them nice and flat and smooth before I take this to paint. Now, to remove the original post, um, all I've done is I, I put the model underneath my uh, drill press and I didn't turn the press on, I just used the, the plunging method on it. Um, but with that post in place, um, I, I put the casting underneath it and used a little point in the drill press just to apply pressure downward on that and uh, knock it out of the bottom. Um, so without removing the base, you could still do that. Um, in order to touch up the uh, paint on the front of this casting, um, I'm using a aluminum colored paint. Uh, this is from Testers. And uh, I really like these because they're about $2 each with tax. Um, I'll always make sure you uh, shake it up before you start. Um, I use the enamel paints, so they do tend to separate if they've been uh, sitting for a while. Um, but I use enamel because I'm pretty sure that that's most likely what uh, Lesney Matchbox used when they were painting these new. Now uh, I've got my uh, previous restoration here kind of for comparison and uh, I noticed that um, on some of my other models the front bumper um, is painted and on this one because it's in still pretty decent shape I noticed that it was not. Um, that only the grill and the, the little gap area kind of between the grill and the front bumper uh, was silver on this and so I know that there were several different variations um, when they came off the factory floor from Lesney and uh, this being a silver plastic model is or a, a gray plastic uh, wheel is one of the later models and so um, w without going and verifying directly whether the bumpers on this variation were painted or not um, I'm just gonna stick with what the original was 
and I'm gonna stop my silver paint shy of the bumper. Um, I also, on all the models that I have, uh, none of the headlights are painted. And uh, maybe some of you can help me with that. Uh, if, if that was a variation from Matchbox, it's, it's not one that I have. All of the different models that I have all have uh, yellow painted uh, headlights and none of the silver from, from the grill on those. So I'm not going to paint any of the headlights on this model either. Um, I do think it's helpful to go ahead and do all these before I put that signage band on. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to stick that yet. Um, I, I know the end of it was made to be able to balloon or mushroom out and I don't see a way mechanically that I can make that happen without more than likely uh, screwing up the, the paint job on the outside or adding some scratches or damage that I would love to avoid because this is already a really nice condition model. So I'm going to try to do all the touch-ups on here uh, before I get to that signage band on the top. Um, as you can see, this is looking uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, overall, I've been really happy with the aluminum paint um, seems to be a pretty good match, maybe slightly darker uh, than the silver that Lesney originally used. So here we have our uh, completed restoration of the top signage band. Um, I was able to paint the piece just with the, the straight testers yellow, um, and I put it in with a couple drops of super glue. Uh, the wheels on this one, as you can see, this is a later model with a gray plastic. Um, I do have another earlier gray plastic wheel uh, that is more original condition. Um, and then I've got a restoration with the uh, older, this is the 20, uh, 42A version. Um, so that actually completes the, the trifecta of the three different types of these. And I'll do a comparison on them here in a minute. But... Um, for the purposes of this and restoring the signage band on the top, um, I'm really pleased with how that, that turned out. And, you know, it's held in with a couple drops of super glue, so if I ever decide to remove it, it's, uh, it's not that difficult to do. So here I've got for display all three of the 42A Evening News vans that I have in my collection. Um, so this is the restored version. This is from the uh, part one video. Um, it shows the, the decals that we've put back on the original model. Um, up next, this is uh, the, the second version. Um, and this has the uh, gray plastic in the 11 by 45 wheels. Um, this was the one that was missing the rooftop piece. And uh, since I picked up that model for six dollars, uh, even with what I've spent to replace the band on the top, and uh, I, I still need to order a uh, replacement decal to finish that full restoration, um, and I, I will do that at some point in the future. Um, and then I have my original model, which uh, which is kind of the middle of the pack. That's the uh, gray plastic wheels and the ten by twenty four. Um, and I think I paid about. $10, maybe $12 for that model. Um, and I'm really, you know, happy to kind of complete the, the trifecta of these models. I am still looking for um, the original boxes for these. So if anyone has any leads on a box for this model, um, I don't care which type, B, C, or D. I uh, don't, don't really care what condition it's in. Um, I enjoy fixing the, the more difficult ones. So um, if you have one or know where I might be able to locate one, uh, please leave me something in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, click like and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with um, all of our future content here on Vintage Diecast Restoration. Thanks so much for joining me this week and uh, tune in next week when we drop another restoration video.